Yeah, you guys all do. You look nice. You seem like a like a romantic bunch. Yeah, yeah, everybody get close together. Just just grab the person next to you. Yeah, especially if you don't know them and they're a different color. Just grab the person next to you and go ahead and just lick the side of their neck. There you go. It puts people at ease. Wow, that escalated quickly. All right, romantic audience, let me ask you, um, how romantic are you? Do, you? do you think there's somebody out there for everybody? No. Yeah. Wow, that was really fast. Okay, I'm surprised you're here with a date. Um, well, I hate to disagree with someone right off the bat, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with you. I think there's somebody out there for absolutely everybody. Yeah, I do. I mean, sometimes you see that person, you're like, well, not them, but most people, I think there's somebody out there, you know, group of people, you're like, no, not, they'll die alone, but by and large, yeah. I mean, I'm married, so my view of romance is meh. Uh, my wife and I have been married for four years. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like marriage is a series of highs and lows. Just highs and lows. For us, on the high side, um, well, since we're both women, on the high side, communication. <laughs> we're both women, so we communicate a lot. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of I feel statements in our home. Yeah. I feel like you're not listening. <laughs> yeah, one of us read somewhere that um, if you're about to have an argument or you're about to say something mean, you should say, I feel before that sentence and that will diffuse the argument. It does not. <laughs> so that's on the high side. On the low end of things, uh, because we're both women, there's no man around the house. So the house is just full of spiders. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> She won't kill him, I'm scared of him. We just live in fear. I think that's why other gay ladies get so many cats. Right, yeah, they buy the cats to catch the spiders that live in the crafts that clutter the house that lesbians built. Oh my God, no offense to lesbians. Like, especially old lesbians. I'm always like, like I wanna tiptoe, like I don't wanna thin any old lesbians on my set. So if there's any old lesbians here tonight, like, like, like what if two old lesbians came out to my show cause I don't know, they saw my haircut on the poster, you know? <laughs> and they just wanted to have old lady, lady date night, you know? And, and they're sitting in the back of the room right now just handsome as could be. <laughs> And I just used lesbian and having cats as a punchline. What if that offended them? You know, what if they're like Birkenstock? <laughs> That'd be awful. Like, what if they stormed out? What if they like just stood up like, no, nah, we did not come here to be offended. Come on, Pam. <laughs> no, come on, no. Start the vibrator, get the cats, we're leaving. <laughs> Yeah, and they just storm out and they go hop in their Subaru Outback, you know? And, and they buckle in the kittens, because, you know, safety first. And they just start driving around Burbank all pissed off, you know, just fighting crime and, you know, rescuing pit bulls. And fighting gender norms. This is their theme song. Debbie and Pam, Debbie and Pam, Debbie and Pam, fighting the man, paving the way so that you can use whatever bathroom you identify with. And the kitten say, meow, 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 me